Paddler has some pieces of the puzzle, but doesn't know he's a piece himself. He won't live long enough to work that out. I won't show him the mercy he showed me. I was in charge of the production of Nova 6 on Rebirth Island. I answered to Colonel Kravchenko himself. I was loyal, my star ascendant, until the Americans found us. That's when I met Russell Adler. He could not break me. Tell your boss, this is for Weaver. For letting Rebirth fall, Kravchenko sent me to Gulag, where I found my true calling. He's trying to bait you, Adler. No shit. But if we don't stop him, civilians are gonna die. Do it. What the hell? He's manufacturing Nova 6 again. Alright, well, Cold War Season 1 is here, and, uh, yeah, we have basically the same shit. I mean, they had a gunfight, so that's pretty cool. Prop Hunt is back. We're definitely making videos on that. Uh, Raid the Maw, not too sure about that. And they have a, uh, new holiday nuketown, so, yeah. New battle passes out. Everything converts over, if I'm not mistaken now, or these are... No, no, these are, these are Cold War weapons. Okay. All right, well, the, I don't know. It's just weird for me because it's the exact same layout. Like, if you start on this page, you're gonna mistake this game for Modern Warfare. It's really weird, not gonna lie. Uh, this is the guy you get towards the end, same operator stitch, uh, and then you get him in the beginning also. So you get two versions of him. You get both of these, which is pretty cool. You get this for Cold War, and then you get this for Warzone. You could probably use this on Armada, so that's pretty cool. Ends up being the emblem. I mean, this season... Uh, there's some pretty cool things going on. They give you both content for each game, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, the big play here, the big push that everybody wants is uh, the new Cold War map. Should we play it? I I guess we're gonna play it. I mean, it's gonna just take me out of this application and throw me in the next one, so yeah, why not? Ooh, Cyberpunk Reddit. They've been having fun over here, I tell you that. I'm really liking the game so far, but we can all agree this is the game we were promised. I'm enjoying the game. I have been having very little problems, so I, I, I'm okay. Is this recent? Oh, this is recent. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's not. It's Will Ospreay. <laughs> By the way, in Cyberpunk, when he does the whole, like, wake up samurai, we have a city to burn, like, was that just promotional? Because I didn't come across that at all yet. Or did I? Am I bugging? No, I didn't. I don't know. Maybe that's in a different life path or something. That's kind of weird. Oh, also, uh, Vexo announced that, yeah, if you tweet, uh, hashtag Vexo Holiday showing us your craziest clips from Overwatch to Call of Duty to Fortnite, then... You guys can uh, potentially get picked up by us. January, I'm bringing my second channel back, Plus and Plays. Me and Aaron Plays are going to hop over and we're going to get a shit ton of universe mode down. That's why I revamped the channel. Uh, after Cyberpunk, we're going back to the regular six minute commentaries and I'm going to love it. Then on top of that, you know, side with Cyberpunk videos over on this channel, we're going to be dropping fucking LRS link content, dude. I'm so excited for that. So I was going to leave that for a bigger video, but this uh, the fucking download is taking forever. I got that hood that's still in me. Can you hear me out, boys? With the whole thing that comes down to, you know, the CD Projekt Red didn't have enough time on last gen consoles. Well, let's be honest, we rushed them for this game to come out. Yeah, they said that, you know, the whole, you know, they kept giving us release dates, but they kept pushing it back. And we were like, oh, there better not be no release dates. Like, we knew. We, there better not be no pushbacks. Like, we knew what was coming to us, let's be honest. Season 1. So, even Modern Warfare is taking the adaption for Season 1, and it's not going to be, like, their Season 7, right? So, that, that's interesting. They're kind of starting over. I'm not going to lie. I missed the game. Uh, I put on my, my uh, gold HDR with the, uh, what's this guy? The Hunter class, or the Hunter character from uh, from Black Ops Cold War. It, it kind of 
kind of goes together perfectly. I like it. I thought it was a whole new Warzone map entirely. It's an event. I mean, I like the concept. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I like the idea of... Uh the events instead of them being long term just because it's so we don't get tired of it or if we do miss for dance at least we can look forward to it or i don't know this is really cool I, I like the fact that it's an event i thought it was they were changing it completely just you know entirely but it's really cool it's an event that's actually pretty cool all right anyway um yeah we still have this same thing we had over here on modern warfare i'm not gonna lie if warzone continues to do as good as they're doing it's looking really good for them. Like, I, this little brain dead class, I, and your Modern Warfare gun, and your Cold War gun, like, I think that's so fucking cool. How does the island work? I'm, I'm kind of lost. I'm seeing... I was watching Dexter, my bad. I gotta look up how this whole Rebirth Island thing works. I mean, I'm seeing people... I don't know, it seems like you spawn into Verdansk, then go visit Rebirth Island, so if you guys want to go do that, you could. I'm not doing that. I'm just here to talk about it. So, my initial thoughts and opinions, I think Cold War is going in a really good direction. Uh, am I gonna play some? Probably if you guys want me to play it, I'll play it. But uh, you guys know Warzone isn't really my my thing. I'll have these little spots where I play it here and there, but overall, it's not really my uh, my jive, you know. So hear me out, right? Now I can spend a thousand, right, and just get it the way it is and just grind my way to the top, or I can spend twenty dollars, which means I'm gonna have to go grab twenty dollars out from my wallet that's sitting right in front of me. And that just seems like more work. So I think we're just gonna have to go with the regular Schmeckler doing it like that you know what i'm saying there we go bada boom unlocked it battle pass done instantly get these rewards and then i can grind the battle pass i'm nine times out of ten just gonna play nuketown so that's my go and um yeah Ooh, that guy that kind of scared me it's like three in the morning i'm kind i kind of just got scared but i'll leave it to myself busy look now nah, we're gonna have to put him with the plat man what am i doing man i'm, I'm that was just dumb that was just dumb I was just, I'm gonna have to get Obsidian now. Like, why did they do that? Ooh, the plat, dude. Okay, yeah, I fuck with this. Alright, I'm gonna go play uh, Nuketown and maybe a little bit of this. Maybe if you guys, if this video hits 10 likes, I will give you guys a uh, plus plays Warzone Rebirth. That's fair. I feel like that's fair. Uh, yeah. Peace.